Welcome back to Skibbity Tech. Today, we're diving into the exciting release of iOS 18.2 and all the new features it brings. But, as with any new update, there can be some hiccups. If you're one of the many users experiencing issues after updating to iOS 18, this video is for you. And don't worry, we've got a solution to help you downgrade back to iOS 17 if needed. Let's get started iOS 18.2 comes with a bunch of new features and improvements. Some of the highlights include enhanced widgets on the home screen, improved privacy settings, new customization options for the lock screen, and much more. It's an exciting update that promises to enhance your iPhone experience. However, not everything is perfect. Many users are experiencing issues after updating to iOS 18. Let's take a look at some common problems people are facing. As you can see, users on Quora, Reddit, and Twitter are reporting a range of issues. Download stuck or failed to install. iDevis isn't working or won't turn on. Overheating. Apps not working or crashing. Phone restarts after 13 to 15 minutes of normal use, doesn't matter which app you are using. Touch screen either lags or is unresponsive. Face ID to unlock phone is random. Phone restarts itself, locking and unlocking the phone freezes the lock display. If you're experiencing any of these problems, you're not alone. Now, if you're frustrated and want to go back to iOS 17, there's a solution for you. Let me introduce you to Tenorshare Reboot, a fantastic tool that can help you fix these issues and downgrade your iOS version seamlessly. You can find the link to Tenorshare Reboot in the description section below. Simply click on the link or visit Tenorshare Reboot to learn more about the product. Ryboot is best iOS system repair and recovery software. Ryboot iOS system repair is a solution for fixing 150 various iOS, iPadOS system issues without data loss. With its advanced AI technology, this iOS repair tool can efficiently diagnose and fix any update issues, stuck and network problems. It has three modes to fix, standard repair, this can repair common iOS system issues like iPhone stuck on Apple logo, iPhone stuck in recovery mode while preserving device data, deep repair, and DFU repair. Today, we will test its iOS 18 beta downgrade and upgrade feature. Now, let's quickly walk through how to use Ryboot to update or downgrade your iOS. First, download and install Tenorshare Ryboot from their website. I'm the one who's always sorry, the conclusion Even though I offer all of the solutions I wish you loved me like I love you, it's stupid When I'm alone with you, I never feel lucid I wish I wasn't struck by Cupid I wish when I first saw you, I knew this when I'm with you, Now I after installing so the software, simply like register it on their website Once you register successfully, now you can so use the Tenorshare Ryboot software now connect your iPhone to the computer and then hit on iOS downgrade upgrade option. Now here you can upgrade to iOS 18 and if you want to downgrade to iOS 17, you can choose the downgrade option as well. After choosing the downgrade option, now simply hit on downgrade, then choose the downgrade firmware you want to downgrade, then hit download. Once downloaded, Click Start Downgrade and wait for the process to complete. It's that simple. Your iPhone will now be back on iOS 17 and you should see an improvement in performance and stability. So, if you're having trouble with iOS 18, give Tenorshare Ryboot a try. Remember to click the link in the description to download Ryboot and get started. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tech tips and updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.